So hello there, look what arrived today from England. 20 pupas of Samuel Tintia, the famous Ailantis moss that was introduced for the production of silk in around 1856 in Europe and could survive in free nature because there was also the invasive uh, fodder plant that was introduced at that time already in Europe, the Ailantus tree. Yes, and that's why uh, on all these uh, places where the island tree um, could uh, spread, also the Thomiopsintiamos could stay. For 150 years already since people stopped producing the silk, the airy silk from this uh, moss they stayed here and mostly they the pupas uh, they are uh, fixed with a kind of a, a rope to the to the tree and stay there all winter it is a bivoltine insect has two generations a year and makes a hibernation so these come from Italy here um, as you look at it you can see here uh, this is the the rope, the security line here, very long. Some are carefully wrapped into a dried leaf. A lot, a lot of them, in fact, are wrapped into kind of a leaf and also fixed, uh, fixed then to the to the little branch uh, of this leaf. So what I have to do now. Um, I just prepare a place for them where they can emerge if they if they are ready for that and for this I just built kind of stuff like this and fix all the poop parts here with their row security line here onto these small sticks like this so that after the after they come out, they can uh, spread their wings here, and they don't fall to the ground and are crippled. Then, as we see it, it's a pity sometimes when we when we forget to mount them carefully to kind of a stick where they can sit and spread their wings. So the island is small in Switzerland also it happens uh, to live in the wild in the south in the north of the Alps uh, there, there are only very few reports of surviving populations uh, mostly where there is a lot of uh, island trees. So in the north of the Alps we don't have or hardly find Samia Tintia um, because it only happens where also the tree is uh, living in the wild and there are some populations also around uh, for example uh, Paris there were some around Barcelona in the south but in the real south in Italy around the Mediterranean Sea you can find them still now in good numbers. In Spain they are uh, put on the red list but there are discussions whether this is okay because other people say it's an invasive uh, insect but what is invasive? Every insect that came to Europe once was invasive so we probably have to also think about our concept of uh, invasive things. Also if you talk about the Islandus tree that is one of the trees that some people say is a very invasive uh, plant. Yeah, why not uh, think of this tree as a possibility to have a new species that has a good uh, timber, like it is uh, appreciated in China, for example. It's a very good timber tree. They also make uh, 
medicine with uh, with the bark of the Ailanthus tree. It grows very fast. It's a pioneer plant that doesn't have uh, a lot of uh, um, doesn't need very good soil. But that's why you find it all around along the highways in Europe, and they pay a lot of money to to try to dig them out or, or cut them, but uh, the plant is shooting up very fast if you cut it. Uh, the new shoots can be around 3 meters in one year, so the more you cut it, the more it grows, so that's not a possibility, so why not use it as food for our Somiopsintia, that is an edible insect in practically all the places where it actually originated. This comes from China, we know also from other species of the Somio uh, family that come from other countries, but mostly in Asia. Yes, and then is the big discussion about um, about the, whether this is also Somio ricini, the insect that comes from originally from India, but happily we have a very a uh, good expert in this field, Richard Piegler and Stefan Naumann. Richard Piegler is from the University of the Incarnate Word in San Antonio, Texas, and, and Naumann is uh, from the University in Berlin. And they said, look, Samioritini is another species, a known species, and it uh, can survive in nature without the help of humans. So this is a uh, uh, not a, it's an insect that only can survive with the help of humans. So what we do here now, now this is our Thormio Tuntio Christmas tree here, looks like a mobile. And what we do here, I just fix this like that and then I put it into an aerarium. So the aerarium, well you probably know this, is a very fantastic invention. It's made, uh, uh, I think, in China, but it's, it's, uh, it was designed by a Swiss man called Aerarium. If you want, you can uh, buy this and order this from a man called Papa Papillon. It's very easy to open, you can fold it together. It is a very, has a very good structure. For, uh, it's made actually for breeding uh, butterflies and rearing butterflies and, and insects and, his, and the fine net is very good for the fight against uh, predaceous insects or ants or whatever can be harmful for our uh, insects. And so what I do here, that's what I do only here on the top, I make a very little hole like this in the middle and that's where I yeah, put the, the thing through, like this. So they are hanging here like on a tree. And I hope that this is good for them, they like it here. Yeah, if you want you can put here something on the top so that it doesn't fall, 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 fall down here, they go home, mobile. Yeah, and you can really make them hang like this, so they don't have to touch the ground or something like that, and also they don't get seasick if the, if it if it goes left and right and wherever so like this. So now, but this stays now uh, in the cool. Garage here. It, I don't take it in to the living room where it's around 20 degrees, but because we have to wait till the Ailanthus tree is uh, making the leaves. And they are very late, in fact. Ailanthus tree are very late. That's also why they are called the spring trees in parts of China, because they say if the Ailanthus tree is blossoming, then it's definitely the new year coming. So thanks, have a look what happened here.
later in the playlist. Thanks for watching.